Hi y'all, let's talk a little bit about some of the subtle changes in rhetoric coming from the gun control side in the wake of various attacks that have happened throughout the world. If you think about the trivium, uh, rhetoric uh, sits atop logic and grammar, where grammar is the, the facts, and logic is the relationship that, that uh, takes account of those facts, and rhetoric is the way that you persuade other people uh, about the relationships and the facts that, bear, uh, that shore up those relationships. If you have consistent positions, then you can you can play with you can be a good rhetorician uh, without having to be a liar. You don't have to make shit up. You have the good facts and solid relationships, and then the particular circumstances, you know, the particular facts might change here or there, but the logical structure will remain the same, and you can just uh, you know explain it in various kinds of non-boring ways without being deceptive. So, in other words, if you propose that the relationship between uh, an inanimate object and some bad effect is that the inanimate object is the cause of that bad effect, uh, then you should stick to be, be arguing about uh, taking account of these particular inanimate objects and controlling them. So guns obviously are the cause of, gun, of uh, mass murders, mass uh, gun murders at least, and therefore a mass um, truck murder should be causally caused by trucks. And therefore, for the same reason that the gun control fetish, fetishist says the only possible solution to gun crime is gun control, the only possible solution to mass murder committed by trucks is more truck control. No matter how much you have, you need more. So too would that be true of a knife attack? The only possible solution is knife control. If it's a fire, you know, if it's arson, fire control is the only possible solution. If it is a bomb, fertilizer control, uh, crock pot control, things like that. Those are the only conceivable solutions. If you go back three years, uh, three or four years, and listen to the rhetoric, that it, that these mass shootings only happen in the United States, and then the news started covering the ones that were happening in other places, and then it was well, they mostly happen in the United States, but this is still uniquely an American problem, which has always been a lie. It is not uniquely an American problem. It happens all around the world. I wish it were uniquely um, uh, a u uniquely American problem because what that would mean is that there's only one place in the world that you have to worry about this, which is to say that in other parts of the world, people aren't being killed by this. It's never been true. It's always been a lie that it only happened here. Other people were being killed. They were just being erased from history by people who found their deaths inconvenient. Uh, but I wish it were true, because those people would still be alive, and that would be great for them. But it isn't. So anyway, um, when you have uh, good facts, you, know, you, you actually take account of all the relevant facts, and you, you have good logic, and then you have responsible rhetoric, not dishonest rhetoric, but good rhetoric. It can be colorful, to be sure, uh, but good rhetoric that rests atop all of that, like you would have in, in the trivium, then you can deal with all of these different permutations of similar ideas without having to be a hypocrite. You can, well, you know, if X, then Y, this is an X, that is a Y, so the relationship is clear, and what should work in one should work in the other, but for the imposition of some other fact which would make the solution inappropriate. But that's not what these people argue. You don't, you don't see any of them out there going, oh, what we need in Europe is more, more ve motor vehicle control, uh, more knife control, more gun control, whatever it is. Remember, Japan, France, Germany, these are the countries that are chosen as the example of extremely strict gun control that works without fail, that really does stop. It just makes it impossible for these things to happen. And you turn on the news and go, well, you know, did you see the news today? And they're like, well, you know, uh, whew, whew, nothing to say. So now they're, they're starting to deal with it a little bit. And instead of taking account of new facts and changing their arguments to, to accommodate the change in facts that they're now aware of, they decide to say, well, you know what we'll do is we'll just pick on the, the gun rights side and pretend that they're stupid. So when the Nice attack, the consequence, in the, in the wake of that, rather, uh, they had NRA logic. It, you know, if everyone there had a truck, this wouldn't have happened, which is actually true. You don't show how stupid I am by showing your, your ineptitude with logic, and in this case, physics. If everyone in that crowd was actually in a truck, this would not have happened. That is what you call a traffic jam, and it is really difficult to build up speed in traffic jam for those who are on the gun control side and, and, well, are, and are therefore stupid. Uh, turn on a traffic cam sometime in like California or any large city, uh, when they have their traffic jams, and what you'll notice is that you have lots of cars and trucks and things that, that go really slow, 
And then, and then, if you are a pedestrian on the other side of the traffic jam from where someone wants to use a truck to murder you, and that person is trying to muscle through all those cars and trucks to get to you, you have a lot of time to go, do you hear what I hear? Oh my God, do you see what I see? And then it's like an Austin Powers movie where the steamroller is slowly coming towards the guy. You have all the time in the world to express your fear. No! And then, you know, after you take a nap and wake up and recover from that, you can go, uh, what I need to do is very rapidly get out of the way. Let me run for my life. And you'll be safe. So my argument uh, works th the same in either case. It, it happens to be true that if everyone there had, uh, had trucks, then it would work out the same. Whether that's for logical reasons or for happenstance would be a good argument to have. But unfortunately, the people on the other side, the gun control side, aren't capable of good arguments. They have nothing more than you know, base aphorisms, very weak platitudes. That is the best that they can offer. So anyway, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter what the particular thing is, that this, uh, this change that you see in the rhetoric is going to continue because now it's becoming nearly impossible for them to deny that these things, no matter what you do, do in fact happen in the rest of the world. They happen in the United States, they happen in Germany, they happen in France, they happen in Japan, they happen anywhere you have people. These things happen. Why? Because the cause of these evils is not the inanimate objects. It is the evil people who are making use of the inanimate objects. And uh, I'm very interested to see how this plays out in the future, and I am, of course, saddened by the fact that uh, we will only be able to have this discussion in the wake of more people being killed, which is uh, a tragedy. Anyway, have a great day.